An overhead camera setup can help makers, tinkerers, and creators to provide instruction and context to their projects and products. It's a great perspective to document things, and this setup is much easier and more stable to use than an expensive tripod head. The camera rig is made up of three parts. We have the frame, the camera track, and the paper roll holders. All you need for this build is a 3x5 piece of 3 quarter inch plywood. So for the frame you're going to need the following cuts. You're also going to need a drill, a drill bit and some screws. First, let's assemble the legs. Assemble A and B pieces together with four screws. Connect each side assembly together with the C rails. Place the brackets at diagonals on each of the side assemblies. Use the two additional C pieces to connect just below the top on each of the side assemblies. Place the longer D pieces in back of the two side assemblies to connect the two together. Make sure that the upper brackets are in the front. Connect the beveled braces to the upper back and the upper side assembly. For the camera rig, you need the following parts. You also need a drill, drill bit, screws, epoxy, and two quarter 21 and a half inch coarse camera screws and one quarter inch coarse threaded nut. Add part E to each side of the frame to create a track for the camera rig. Find the center of parts F and I. Pre-drill on part F to connect to part I. Connect the track rails indented by 2 inches. Place the nut on the center of part I, trace and chisel out to the depth of the nut. Drill a quarter inch hole in the center. Connect part I to part F, making sure the nut is facing to the long side of the side tracks. Epoxy in the nut, being careful not to get any epoxy on the inside of the nut. Using part G, measure down the length of the wood 20 inches and from the center line go 3 16 of an inch on each side to create a 3 8 of an inch path to cut out. Using a 3 8 inch drill bit, drill a hole at the base of the 20 inch track. Also drill a hole 3 inches up from the other side for the camera to mount on. Create a 3 8 inch track in the piece. Cap the piece using part K so the camera won't fall out. To make the knobs, start with two pieces of J glue together. Mark out two circles about two and a half inches in diameter. I'm using a compass here. Divide the lines using angle bisecting. Mark out the head of the screws in the center and use the chisel again to clear out the area so the head of the screw will be recessed in the knob. 
Then cut out the shape of both the knobs. Epoxy the heads of the screws into the knobs. Paint all the parts if you want. I used white to reflect light better. Attaching paper roll holders in the back can be really practical. You need 6 feet of half inch copper piping, a pipe cutter, 4 copper fasteners, rolls of craft paper, a drill and screws. On the back of the frame add copper holders, 2 at 5 inches and 2 at 10 inches. Cut the copper pipe to desired length. Then insert a roll of craft paper and feed it through. Then all that's left is to assemble, put the track sliders onto the track, connect the camera sliders to the track with one of the knobs, insert the second knob in the bottom hole and screw it into the camera. Now you can raise and lower the camera and move it back and forth as well. This is also a very flexible rig because you can move it to different work surfaces and it's not stuck on one table.